hi guys welcome back to G's african perspective so today we're going to be checking out a video on people who actually rant about um being broke and how poor they feel like they are right now and even though they have to work hard the frustration of being broke and having no money is so 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 painful so sometimes like you just need that space to just let it out and express yourself express where you are and you know i swear like people that really don't have to worry about money and don't have to worry about bills and stuff like that such a good place to be at to not just have to like be worrying and thinking about money to think about you actually those ones that are living paycheck to paycheck maybe before your paycheck is even has arrived you've already spent it <laughs> you spent it in advance and you don't have anything so it's really painful so that's what people are going to be venting about we're going to be checking out this video but before we get right into it please take a few moments of your time and click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video let's get right into it <laughs> I am sick of being poor. I am sick of being broke all the fucking time. I am sick of begging and have to work my fucking ass off and save every last goddamn dollar for the shit that so many people around me don't even have to worry about ever, okay? I am so sick and tired of every time something fucking crazy hits my life or some situation happens, it always takes a some amount of the money that I have been saving, working so hard to save for something for me. I am so tired of every time i want to buy myself something and actually take care of myself and decide to do something like okay i'm gonna buy me a new pair of shoes i have to feel so fucking shit after it every time i go out and have to buy stuff for my house i feel like shit after it because it's more money lost that i can't even afford to lose half the time i am so sick and tired of being poor <laughs> tired. you ever been so broke you ever been so broke you you not you not even sad about it no more? Like you just like, okay, I ain't got no money. It did. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for gas. I don't know how. I'm gonna... And I literally have a trip. I have a trip in a few months in December. Huh? I have un I'm unemployed. I'm unemployed students. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for anything. I have no money. I have. I, hmm. Hmm? But guess what? But guess what? It's gonna work out. Ain't got good? It's gonna work out. Being poor is really expensive. For example, I need a new used car, but I can only afford a car that's about the $2,000 to $3,000 range. I can't really afford anything from a dealership or to get an auto loan. After scrimping and saving and looking at cars for months and months, cars that had all sorts of crap wrong with them, I found one that seemed like okay and seemed like trustworthy people to buy from. I went over to them, checked out the car, gave them my hard-earned money, and then on the way home, I had a blowout. And then after I had a tow truck, a very expensive tow truck, because I can't afford to have AAA, tow me to a repair shop, I get told that three out of the four tires need to be replaced. And also the wheel well that's holding one of the tires on is messed up, and that needs to be fixed. So now this cheap car has cost me an extra $400. And then driving it home from the repair shop, the blinkers go out. Plus a myriad of other problems with this car that I don't know about yet. Money that I don't really have that I'd been saving for months in order to have a car that I thought would be reliable and take me around town. Because I never will be able to afford a new car. And that's just one of many examples on how poor people having to buy lower quality stuff means that they spend more money over time maintaining that shitty stuff or buying more of that shitty stuff than someone who could just buy the nicer thing. This is so true and very relatable. And the reason why I say that is because, honestly, I have noticed that majority of the time, things that I buy, I'll be like, oh, I'm cheap, I'm cheap. I don't want to spend stuff on expensive things. And then I'm going to spend my money on things that are very cheap. While buying it cheap, I would keep replacing them again and again because they cannot last me long. Therefore, I the money that I'll calculate that I've spent in going to replace them, have I, it's actually the same as me buying the qualitative one. In some situations, I I think yeah, we really do spend a lot of money for being. When you're broke, you just <laughs> you're gonna spend a lot of money. Anything you buy will definitely need repairs or they need to be replaced. So tell me, am I the only one that when you order dinner at your local Mexican restaurant to go, the price changes? every single time 
I don't know if it's everywhere or if it's just here in our little town, but I can order the exact same meal the next day even, and the price is going to be different. We're not even going to talk about the fact that the price is like absurd nowadays, but I guess that's everything. And I guess it's a bad thing that I crave Mexican at least once a week, but I would be the one to notice those things. Like how does my meal go from $30 to $47 the next, the next week? $47 for two people to eat dinner. Because my son just eats the chips and cheese dip that come with our meals. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments, is it this way in your little town or just mine? It's my rant for the night. Good night. Can someone tell me what a normal amount of money for a 23-year-old in their savings account should be? I'm just asking because I'm just a little curious because some of my friends say that they have, they're like, oh my God, I'm so broke. I just have $15,000 in my bank account. You just, you just said you have... You can put a, put a fucking down payment on a car. What do you mean? You just. I just have enough nickels to scrounge up to get me a little McDouble. Whoa, what's happening? Some people are talking about how they have negative and they're in so much debt. They're in $2,000 of debt in their credit card. I'm too scared to get a debit card. I have a credit card because I, I don't trust myself. I do not trust myself. I can't remember how much money I spent. I just checked my bank account. I'm so scared. I don't know how much a normal amount is. Help! Can someone tell me what a normal amount of money for a 23-year-old in their savings account should be? What do you mean savings? Very, very nice to have savings. <laughs> Let me go and cry. Because <laughs> when I look at my account, I'm like, oh my God. You guys, I saw some videos on TikTok where some of them were like some people were making content saying oh it seems a lot of people don't really believe that there are people who actually have money that is not everybody that is suffering not everybody is broke and i'm like mm, that's that's true it's the reality of life like this administration or how would i put it a situation where a lot of countries in the world are actually going through poverty going through um like a lot of like this inflation and how horrible it is where many people are really like living a struggle lifestyle right now like even um, they are living worse than they used to live do you know that actually for some people now they will tell you that their life has never been like it's been good and great yes it might not be a lot of us but still there are those people who are getting the most that they've ever gotten in their life they are enjoying from each maybe government administration that's when they are making the most money that you could ever imagine like right now they are cashing out big time so it's just that maybe possibly you're not in the right place you know at the right time you're not in that space or it's just not your time but they are really people that have money so i realized that when a lot of people are struggling and are broke right and don't have money so when you see those people that have or maybe they are on social media posting their self like living this lavish lifestyle being able to four things and say oh i bought this then people will be like it's a lie fake lie <laughs> it's like no you guys please like i understand we are all collectively broke you know we the brokies in our cycle we shouldn't just say everybody is broke because we are okay there are some people who are actually living well are people just okay with the way that the economy is right now I mean, the amount of people that are struggling in this economy in 2024 and the amount of people that just don't care is ridiculous. This is not a Biden Trump rant. This is like a genuine rant. Whatever is going on in Washington is not working. I own my own business and I just got done sending $12,000 to the IRS. While $12,000 is ridiculous for what I made, I wouldn't even care if it went towards something useful. I wrote a $12,000 check literally just knowing it's going to be sent to Ukraine. It's either sent to Ukraine or it's sent to the Middle East or it's sent to some shit that just doesn't even matter. I wouldn't mind paying 12 grand if it was being sent to Maui where all those people houses got burnt down. But no, you know what the people of Maui got? They got $700. Like send my 12 grand to a family in Maui. Why are you sending it to Ukraine? 
What the fuck do we have to do in Ukraine? I don't know if I'm just salty because I'm wearing Crocs in the rain and my socks just got wet or if I'm a full-blown adult right now. But either way, this is pissing me off. I just went to the grocery store and all I needed was a lemon. I go to the little produce section. It says lemon, one dollar, one lemon. I was at Harris Teeter, so luckily it was buy one, get one free. But either way, two weeks ago, I went to the store and I bought a whole bag of lemons for a dollar and 50 cents. So why am I paying one dollar a whole dollar for two itty bitty lemons when really I'm paying for one lemon and I had a deal when I just paid a hundred a dollar and fifty cent for eight freaking lemons something is not right and this is why I don't be trusting America because how did inflation happen that quick okay so just to recap the state of the country right now inflation most people, there was a headline the other day, most people in America are living paycheck to paycheck and you're lucky if you can even do that. You're lucky, you're considered lucky if your two paychecks you get a month on average um, cover everything you need to pay. And you're lucky if you have nothing left over after bills. That's luck. That's, that's what living in the best country in the world that's the best case scenario for most Americans right now. And then uh, on top of that, well, I mean, inflation matched with um, pay, salary is not going up. Salary does not match cost of living, rent increasing, and inflation of literally every single good you could ever need to buy to live. We're not getting paid enough to afford anything that we have to spend money on. Um, so that's number one. And then number two is I'm sitting through yet another second of the year active shooter training for work. And this is not, again, this is not against my company. I work for a great company, but just in general, every time I have to do these active shooter drills or training videos, you, like we have to sit through 10 to 15 minutes of people sharing really traumatic stories about how they were a part uh, or a victim of an active shooter incidents at their work and it's traumatizing and it's insane it is insane that it's talked about like you need to be prepared we should all be prepared as if it's a natural disaster as if it's an earthquake a hurricane a tornado as if someone coming in and shooting up your place of business or you're out shopping or you're just in public, no matter what public space you're in at this point, you just need to be prepared for one person to come in with a military grade gun and kill everyone. You just need to be prepared for that. As if it's natural. The government that governs this country could help that not be a thing anymore. Just a little reminder. Our government, Democrat and Republican, could do something so that we, adults and children, children, don't have to live this way. This is not, we don't have to live this way broke and fearing that we could get shot at any time because our government literally does not give a shit if we live or die. They'd actually probably prefer if we died, honestly. It'd probably be cheaper for them somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm at my wit's end and that's how I feel. And that's just like, I just wanna give a little recap of where we are as the greatest country in the world. 
the guy who was ranting about taxes, like, I feel that a lot. Because I'm like, why are they taxing you a lot? Almost on every, like, literally everything. Every day when I go to the store, whatever I buy, anything I buy, anywhere, anyhow, I'm just going to be paying taxes for it. At the same time, in my paycheck, you're going to take taxes from me. Every little thing, taxes, taxes, taxes. And then the money is not even used for you. It's just you just going to labor for someone else and the person just casually uses the money to do anything but to take care of you who is paying that money so it's like what's the purpose of doing that all right thank you for watching this video to the end i really appreciate you so make sure you please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you know leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.